first and foremost my business cards with my mobile phone numbers on the back so if you get any problems questions or queries um, say for example you think you're, you've got some type of infection just yeah. give me a call okay. whatsapp me email me I will get back to you um, this is your spare piece of jewellery which is that same as you've got in okay. and, and, and it's just going to give you two spare spare balls right. it also tells you what grade the titanium is okay. in that packet your aftercare instructions are written down in this piece of paper and then the aftercare products are a sterile saline um, which is an atomizer which is nice and easy to spray okay. into the ears um, and this is an essential oil aftercare don't use this on the bottom of the piercings. All that is for is for putting one drop on the top of the piercing when you go to bed at night. Okay. So literally, clean finger, put one drop on it, onto the very top of the piercings, job done. And it helps to soften the piercings during the evening and speed up, speeds up the healing process overall. Okay. Fair when you're cleaning the piercings, the best way to do it is to have a shower or a bath, preferably a shower. Yeah. Are you a shower? Yeah. Yep. Get them a little bit wet in the shower. Okay. Um, if you get soap and some shampoo near them, fine, no problem at all. Just make sure it's rinsed off. Yeah. Jump out of the shower, dry yourself off, um, by which time anything um, that's a little bit crusty, um, sometimes you get a little bit of lymph because mm. it's a little bit crusty, the water tends to soften that so it's okay. easier to remove. Right. Put a little bit of the cotton wool into your ear hole, that's all it's for, it's not for cleaning. Um, just to stop you spraying into your ear hole okay, yeah. and then spray the saline um, top and bottom both sides and sit there for three or four minutes let it all soak in okay then get a little bit of kitchen roll so not a tissue or a cotton wool if you're using a, a cotton wool bud wrap a little bit of kitchen roll around it. okay because of the fibers on it yep yeah right roll your kitchen roll into a point like so mm -hmm. and then you can dab it in get rid of any gump off your jewellery, okay. top and bottom, clean piece for the other side. Right. Now you are far better off getting somebody else to do this for you. Yeah. Because you can't see these piercings very easily. Yeah, sure. Otherwise it's a question of setting up an awkward mirror situation <laughs> that then yeah. generally speaking doesn't work very well. Yeah. Um, sleeping we went through earlier um, because we've got both sides done, um, which is roughly about 50% of the people that I see have both sides done. Um, use a travel pillow so you're not contacting yeah. the pillowcase on either side particularly. Um, some people will do things like um, uh, have a really soft up down pillow, um, make a fist in it so they've got a little area to put okay. their ear in yeah. if they're a single side sleeper all the time yeah. um, but most people will use a travel pillow. Okay. Um, you've got about a week um, of gentle sleeping that it will, they will annoy you at, at, at times, then they'll start to settle down and then you might have a couple of other episodes as they're starting to heal. Okay. Um, sometimes if you bang them they get a little bit sore. Right. Um, if there's any, anything yellow or any fluid, it doesn't mean that you've got an infection. Um, it, it, and also don't over clean these piercings. They suffer from being over cleaned more than being yeah, under cleaned. Sure. Okay. Um, but any questions or queries, um, give me a shout. Yeah, perfect. And that is the aftercare okay. colour. Excellent. So and this in the evening at bed. Yeah. The, and then this yep. after a shower. So the oil, the, the, the important thing to remember with the essential oil, which is um, called BPA, it's a piercing aftercare oil. Yeah. Um, is not to put that near the bottom part okay. of the ring, just on the top. You don't want it building up inside the ear, uh, because it will cause an infection. Okay. But it's it does. It's a great thing for speeding up the healing process. You just put a tiny little bit around the right. piercing at the very top. Okay, so on the finger to bed and then touch it. Yep, yeah, yeah, clean finger, obviously okay. wash your fingers. Perfect. Um, and that's your aftercare. Brilliant, thank you very much. Any questions? No, it's all good, thank you. Fabulous.